Good evening, everybody. A tale for you. On a cold, rainy night on the Liverpool quayside, in the years before the Great War, the world was in shock at the loss of Titanic. So proud had they been days before. Relatives gathered for news of their loved ones to read through the list of the dead. When into the throng came a sad-eyed polar bear, and to the clerk at the counter he said, have you got any news of the iceberg? My family were on it, you see. Have you got any news of the iceberg? They mean the whole world to me. My wife and my children, they were, they were coming from Greenland to be by my side in the zoo. Belinda's my wife, Bernard's my eldest, and Billy, well, he's only two. I know on the ship there were hundreds of people, and I know the iceberg's not yours. The polar bear's eyes held the start of his teardrops. He covered his face with his paws. It's been over a year since I last saw my children. I left them home to build my career. I worked very hard. I'm a star in the circus. It's all been for nothing, I fear. There's my face on the poster. We're in town this week. My children were meeting me here. Everyone watched as he struggled to speak, and his paw brushed away one more tear. Have you got any news of the iceberg? My family were on it, you see. Have you got any news of the iceberg? They mean the whole world to me. By now, all the people had gathered beside him. His grief was one they could share. The people around him, in silence and sadness, Listen to the sad polar bear. I wanted my children to see me performing, and Belinda, she would have been proud. At last, lost for words and his tears flowing free, the question was asked by the crowd. Have you got any news of the iceberg? His family were on it, you see. Have you got any news of the iceberg? They mean the whole world to he. Never mind, old chap, you know. I'm sure some good news will come through one day. You 